If you are coming to Hollywood Studios and plan to watch Fantasmic with your kids, then this is going to be your best plan of action. So come along with us as we review the Fantasmic dinner package, the cost, is it worth it, and who should book this? So Fantasmic is the nightly show that happens here at Hollywood Studios, and lines for that can get quite long. So to save your family some time in a line, and also just the stress of having one more thing to remember and jump in line for and waste time throughout your day, the dinner package can be a really good option. Now the Fantasmic Fantasmic dinner package is available at multiple restaurants here at Hollywood Studios. So you'll find that at 50's Primetime Cafe, Hollywood and Vine, The Brown Derby, Mama Melrose, as well as Sci-Fi Dine-In Restaurant. So you have some options when it comes to those here, but for tonight, we're gonna be dining over at Mama Rello's. So come along and check out the dinner, how the kids like it, and then we'll get into the cost. With the Fantasmic dinner package and what you are paying for, you're either going to get your buffet if you're eating at a buffet like Hollywood and Vine, or if you are at any of the other restaurants, you're going to get either an appetizer or a dessert on top of your entree. So obviously prices will vary and the cost will vary just slightly, which we'll get into in a minute, but there is a lot of food. I was able to eat all of my appetizer and my, maybe even half of my entree. So there is so much food, and so you're definitely getting a lot for the money. Plus, when you get into the theater, you're gonna have that front and center viewing section. So you can either sit in the front row or the back row, but you're gonna have a center stage viewing, which is awesome. You don't have to wait in a long line. You've got a nice full belly, everybody's happy. To me, it's money well spent. Now, before we jump into the rest of the video, if you were planning a Disney vacation, I would love it if you would click that red subscribe button. My name is Ashley, and here on my channel, Pixie Dusted Mom, I am constantly sharing tips, tricks, and hacks for taking toddlers and little kids to Disney, as well as vlogs from our adventures along the way. So if that's content that you're into, click the red subscribe button, and let's be virtual Disney besties and get you ready for that upcoming trip. where you're dining, whether it's a dining plan or table service, quick service, whatever, then you need a mealtime bag in your diaper bag. I'm literally getting to enjoy my fried mozzarella while they play with stickers. I call that a mom win. All right, so Bella got the kids spaghetti and meatballs with a side of apple slices and the green beans and carrots. And then I got the mama's Italian pasta with chicken. So I'm very excited to dive into that. And then Lucy got the same with the spaghetti and meatballs. And then we also have her apple slices.
but now we're over in Toy Story Land, about to get on Alien. Wish me luck. I just, I just filled my belly with Italian food. If you're curious to see if I survived this, click the thumbs up button. <laughs> Well, since I survived that, let's talk about pricing for this thing. Now, overall, your package is gonna run you anywhere from $51 for an adult to $77 for an adult. Looking at you, Brown Derby, you're the expensive one of the butt. And then for those of you with kiddos ages three through nine, like my little girl, you're gonna pay anywhere from between $23 and $49. So it can be a little bit pricey, but when you compare the difference of the cost of the meal versus what you're actually getting, the difference is really not that bad. Now, for my family of three here, the price difference for actually the two of us that were dining. I'll get into that in a minute, but for the difference of the two of us, it was $27. So I literally paid $27 to save time in line and also have a nice center stage spot. And so for me, as a solo mom with two little kids by myself, I'm like, mm, that is $27 well spent, thank you very much. I don't wanna have to spend a long time in line and is sitting there, so that is a win-win for me and I think it's worth it. Now you may be wondering why my party of three only had to pay for two. So so my youngest, Bella, is actually under the age of three. So if they're under three, then they don't cost anything. They can just slide right into that preferred viewing area with your ticket, no questions asked. That is a nice bonus, especially if you are bringing a little one. Them being free just kind of makes it like icing on the cake. And then also, if you buy more expensive entrees or a more expensive appetizer or dessert, then obviously your price is going to be less. So if I would've bought the $17 appetizer instead of the $13 appetizer, my price of that $27 would have dropped. If I would have bought a more expensive $35 entree, then my price again would have dropped. So depending on what you're going to be eating, what you're going to be ordering off the menu, can show a big price difference and how much you're actually saving. And that price difference between the meal and the dinner package is getting smaller and smaller all the time. When it comes time for you to head to the theater for the show, show times will vary depending on a season, whether there's one show or two shows. On the particular night we were there, there was a show at 9.30 and it was that was it. So as you approach the theater, there will be a line on the left side that are Fantasmic Dinner Package, and then the right side will be standby. So you'll want to make sure to get in the correct line. As you're walking up the hill, you will see cast members standing there, and you will hand them your tickets. That way they can check and make sure, as this cast member did, he counted to make sure that there were three tickets for the three of us. He tears them in half and has given them back to us, and then directs us to go up the hill. You are able to park your stroller, so you'll just want to stay to that right side, and there is stroller parking at the very top of the Hollywood Hills Amphitheater and you are able to drop that off. You'll hold on to those extra tickets though. Don't leave those in your stroller or tuck them away in your park bag just yet. As you approach the seating area, you will have to pass those off to a cast member there where you will be able to get and enter the seating area. So we were able to sit a little bit further to the back. The mist and the wind can cause it to not be quite as enjoyable, especially on chilly nights. Um, and this was a chilly night. It was in like the 50s this evening. And winter and wind chill in Florida is very cool. Plus the mist from all of the water spraying in the air during the show. It's really cool to watch, but it's less cool when you feel like you left and you just stepped out of a shower. So that's one thing to note. If you were setting the first to the 10th or so row, you're definitely going to get a bit of a heavier mist than if you are sitting towards the back. So just something to note and kind of keep in mind when you are visiting and watching Fantasmic.
gonna do it for today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed coming along for it. If you did, don't forget to click the thumbs up button, red subscribe button, and I will see you guys right back here in the next one. Bye. All right, into the video club. You know the drill. If you are still here, leave me a firework emoji, a dragon emoji, anything phantasmic related. Leave that with your comment down in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. Sticking around to the very end. You guys are the best. Bye.